to the Italian Football Podcast. And then, of course, <laughs> there's a, the, the, the best player of all, and we have to come to him, is Victor Ossiman, who, who was just, again, I mean, that goal that he scored uh, to, to put Napoli 1-0 up, I mean, that might be goal of the season. It was that good. I mean... It was so beautiful. The, 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 the skill level to... For to me, it's chest, the coordination. Everything about it. But to chest it down, knee it up and volley it, all in one move, in such quick such quick succession didn't give I mean you know I saw some criticise in the Roman defence how can you let a, uh, a player take three touches in the box uh, in, the, in the six yard box and not and not get a challenge in which is maybe fair enough but at the same time if you look at the pace at which the speed at which he done it all in one movement I mean it was so fast I mean it was it was that was pure world class that was and it's funny because everybody was going on about this, the goal that kind of similar goal that Mitoma yeah. scored for Brighton to beat Liverpool earlier in the day and saying, you know, what an amazing goal, goal of the weekend. Well, <laughs> Ossie men watched that goal and then I think, took, it, took it up to the, uh, took it up another level with his, with his I think goal. Both, I think both of those goals were poor defending uh, as well. I mean, the, it was brilliant individual skill, but it was also poor defending by Liverpool who were nine players ball watching. And with the Roma, um, Zal, uh, Spinazzola and and uh, <laughs> Roger Ibanez, I mean, Jesus, um, they they really, really, really made mistakes there. Um, and uh, no, and, and Zalewski was off. Now Roma have look. Roma are you know Mourinho's turned them into an organized side, but but there are individual qu- quality issues defensively, and, and 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 I think you know we can't get past that. And I think Roma will have to address that in order to take that next step. Yeah, um, but not getting but, away from not getting away from Osman after yeah. the game. Mourinho said that. He was as good, or he is as good, as Didier Drogba, uh, who obviously Mourinho coached during the peak of his mm. career uh, at Chelsea uh, when Drogba was, for a, for a period, probably the best the Same best forward, number nine yeah. in the world, I think it's fair to say, for, yeah. uh, for, for certainly He's for a period. monster. Yeah, and he was an absolute monster. Um, so, I mean, I guess the question is, I mean, can Ossiman really be as good as Drogba? Can he emulate Drogba? Can he even be become better than Drogba. So, I mean, the way I look at it is, if anything, I think I think Osman has a head start on Drogba here because Drogba was 26 when he joined when yeah. he joined Chelsea. He did have that outstanding season with Marseille when he he took them to the the UEFA Cup final and and then they they lost in the final, didn't they? Um and then he I mean he joined Chelsea, um but he was he was he was 28 until, I mean, his first two seasons at Chelsea, he was kind of good, but he wasn't amazing. He wasn't even necessarily always a first choice player. Um, but he, he was 28 until he absolutely exploded into a, into a world-class striker. Um, you know, and Ossiman is, Ossiman's only just turned 24. So, you know, he's four years younger than Drogba mm. when Drogba really, you know, really became an established world-class, world-class star. And I think Ossiman is already, for me, I mean, he's already a world-class star now. Um, so he has a head start on Jogba. And I think there are there are many similarities, obviously, between them physically, technically. I think they, they are very comparable. Um, I think where Jogba, you know, obviously Jogba has the, the the advantage when it comes to, from a mental point of view, um, so strong, so consistent. Uh, and his performances in the big matches, uh, Jogba, uh, insane. I mean, if you if you go through the history of football and find the players that were the best big game players, finals, scoring in semi finals, quarter finals, title deciders, when when it really matters at the key clutch moments, Drogba's right up there. You know, he's up there with 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 the very best: Ronaldo, Messi, Pele. You know, uh, Pipo Inzaghi was right up there as well. You know, he's right up there, um, Drogba. Um, so that is what will obviously be very, very hard for Ossiman to emulate. If he's going to emulate Drogba, then he needs to be playing in Champions League finals and cup finals and, you know, title deciders. And obviously until now, he hasn't, you know, he hasn't really, hasn't been in a position to, to play those kind I think, of games. I think in terms of comparing him with Drogba, I, I, th- I think Ossiman is more technical than Drogba. I think Drogba was physically stronger. Um, and, and, and was, was a great, you know, had great movement, but I, I look, I look at Ossiman and I think he's got much more silkier movement. He's much more difficult to mark because of the fact that he can shift his weight from left to right much easier. I think he's got great technique. I don't think he's as good as Drogba was in the air. 
um, uh, but but there are similarities. He's but still I think pretty he, great. He's still great. Yeah, he is he? good. He's absolutely yeah. good. But but I just don't think I think he's 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 a more lean technical uh, Drogba, uh, and 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 I think you know and and his movement is he is such a difficult player to mark. He, t- I mean, you just look at his his non stop movement to how he's always always available as a passing option how even when his back against the goal his ability to, t- to turn things around just on one touch his ability to know always where his other players are the link up with Kvaratskhelia now this guy is you know he is we, it's it's a world it's a it, it is a future world class if not already world class player I think uh, after um, after Lewandowski and Haaland this season and to some extent, maybe Harry Kane. I think he's he's he's. he's I, t- I take him instead of Kane. I yeah, t- I take yeah. him above Kane. I, I can I think understand I've said that. that before, haven't I? On a yeah. previous show. Yeah, yeah no, I can understand that. I can understand that. This based on this season alone, because I think, yeah, he he just he has this energy about him, and and he's this unstoppability. And now he's it's complete. Just, he's the complete front. Yeah, he I really mean, is. What else? I mean, we said you know up until this season there were question marks about him in the big matches where he he scores in all the big games. Again, mm. he scored another big game yesterday. Uh, you know, uh, consistency, finishing sometimes, you know, snatched. But, you know, now he's got 14 Serie A goals. He's the top scorer in Serie A. No penalties. No penalties. Mm. 14 Serie A goals. I mean, I don't think that uh, that can't be understated how impressive that is to, to, to have already scored 14 Serie A goals without without taking penalties. 